Hi and welcome back. So today I'm going to do some really simple, easy nail art. I'm going to do multicolored foil splodges. Okay, so if this design is for you, if you find you usually shy away from nail art, or you're worried that you make mistakes on nail art, or you don't have time to do it, all of those reasons, we can find nail art quite intimidating and a lot of people shy away from offering it because of those reasons. There is a lot that can go wrong with it. So this design is a really simple design. It is pretty much foolproof. You literally cannot go wrong. It looks fabulous and clients love it. Um, with all the foils that are available, there are so many color combinations and things that you can do with this design. But we are gonna start with a very simple basic using two colors to add foil design to our nails. I'm gonna do a full design, so on every nail, you can use this for the ring finger or just the odd finger, it is totally up to you. So, so I'm starting with my color application. I am using the color Think Pink. It's from Lacente's new Express Yourself collection. It's a really lovely Barbie bubblegum pink, fab for the summer. Okay, so just a few tips on your application. I am capping every layer. This helps make sure that the color doesn't shrink in the lamp, that I don't get any chips, and it makes my ends look really neat and gives a very professional finish. So as you can see, also using my brush, I am pushing that color into the cuticle area so I get nice neat lines around my edges. Um, we're gonna pop on two coats of the color. So I'm just gonna speed up the last of this color application because we wanna get onto the nail art, although I could watch nails being painted all day. Am I a bit strange or are you the same? <laughs> Let me know in the comments, tell me I'm not alone. So just finishing off that colour application there before we go on with our foil gel. Okay, so foil gel has a super tacky adhesion layer once it has been cured in the lamp. Um, I use this all the time for foils, especially for full cover. Sometimes you can dab into the tacky layer of the top of the colour, but I, sometimes, I find that foil gel just works better and it's guaranteed to give me the adhesion I need every time. So I'm just popping quite a thin coat on because I don't need it to be super precise. I'm not doing a full application here. So I'm gonna cut a little slice of each of the foils I'm using. I'm using Wonderlust, which is this really pretty pink holographic and Bright Silver, which as you can see is just a nice, plain, bright silver. All of the foils have different effects, so try them out, they look fabulous. So as you can see, I have folded my foil into a little loop. Bear in mind, because you have got this super sticky layer, if you go on with that big piece of foil flat, it's gonna take onto most of the nail. So I only want little small areas. I'm moving my foil along that loop as I go along so that I've got an area with brand new clean foil. If I go on with the piece which is clear where the foil's already gone through, I may remove some of my tacky layer and my foil won't adhere. So as you can see, this is super quick and it is very random, okay? I'm just popping little bits in random places. And this is just going along with Wanderlust, which is the pink foil at the moment. Going along to the other hand, repeating the same process. This is a really, really pretty design, okay? So you don't have to use two colors. You could just go on with one color. There's also options to go on with a glitter over this so that you're filling in your blank spaces with glitter. There are so many options and so many effects but today we're gonna to be using two different color foils, which is also fabulous. And as you can see, this is so simple. You literally cannot go wrong. It's a great effect. If you offer minimal nail art to your customers, they're gonna jump at this because it is something a little bit different. You can build on your nail art skills as you get that bit more confident. But this is a design that fits very well into salon because it is super quick to apply. So you're not gonna to need to add like half an hour onto the end of your appointment. You could add five, 10 minutes max. And then you're gonna be able to charge probably a premium of about five pounds or more for this, depending on what you charge for your nail art. But make sure you do charge. These services are extras, they are in addition, and they're not standard, so make sure you're charging. So I'm just gonna go on now to finish this design with my top coat. 
Your top coat is probably one of the most important layers of your nail service. This is what's holding everything together and keeping everything safe inside. So you need to make sure that you're capping your nail. You can see I've capped every layer and I'll continue to do so. That cap is keeping those ends all nice and sealed and your foil needs to be encapsulated fully in with your top coat. So you don't want bits that are left not covered at the end. It is a layer between your gels, so it can inhibit the adhesion slightly. Not so much on a dabby foil like this, but more so if you're doing full cover foils, but it's just good practice to make sure your top coat is applied bang on. You want it capped, you want it encapsulating your color coat and all of that nail art that's in there. It is the layer that is most resistant to everything our customer is gonna come in contact with, such as chemicals, water. This is what's gonna protect the nail the most because this layer isn't porous. It's not gonna let anything through. Okay, so make sure your top coat application is really thorough. Don't rush that step. So finishing off with some finish wipe on a plastic backed pad. We are only wiping over the nail. We are avoiding wiping over the whole finger and pushing any uncured product that may be there that we want to remove further up onto the skin. We're always gonna finish with our cuticle oil and explain to our customer how important it is that they continue using this twice daily at home. So massage that in all around the nails, down the sides, behind the nail thoroughly. And then I always like to use a dry lint wipe just to polish off that nail, take away any blurriness left by the oil, leaving my client's nails super shiny, fresh, and looking fabulous when they leave the salon. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and picked up some tips. If you enjoyed, then please do like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications.